This short film aims to provide the basic information that you need to keep yourself safe when using chemical-based products and substances at your workplace. Recent changes to the way that chemical products are marked and labelled have occurred, which, for once, sees the same labelling system used all over the world. This system is known as GHS, the Global Harmonise System. The main problem is that there are too many chemical substances and products in both our domestic and professional lives. Chemicals are essential to modern living, but we pay them little regard to safety until they hurt us or someone else. Chemicals come in three basic forms, known as states, gas, liquid and solid. All chemicals have the potential to cause dangerous effects to either a major or minor degree. The products that we use at work and at home are manufactured from raw chemicals which are delivered to the factory by bulk tanker. The finished products are stored in intermediate bulk containers or placed in consumer-ready containers. Not so long ago, the only chemical that was marked with a universal symbol depicting its danger was poison. This was usually marked with a skull and crossbones and the words poison imprinted on the side of the bottle. Blue glass was mainly used to denote the fact that the bottle contained poison, but that wasn't always adhered to. As a user of the chemicals, you'll want to know what's in the container, and hopefully you'll want to know what to do to stop it from causing you harm. In the 1970s and 80s, Europe embarked on a chemical hazard labelling system known as CHIP. This consisted of orange squares with a black pictogram in its centre. These symbols communicated the main dangers to the user of the product. However, experience showed that either these symbols were ignored or not properly understood. The chemical industry is global. The CHIP labelling system used in Europe was not used anywhere else there was a high potential for confusion and harm. The United Nations managed to get all of its members to agree to introduce a globally harmonised labelling system. This is known as GHS. GHS requires all manufacturers and suppliers of chemical products to place on their containers simple labels and descriptions to convey to the user the chemical hazards and correct safety information that they will need to keep them safe. The whole system is contained within a detailed manual which all UN member states have adopted into their own laws to ensure that the system is properly applied and enforced. Since June 2015, all chemicals must have their containers marked with the new labelling system. GHS requires the use of hazard labels. These are diamond shaped and are coloured white with red edging. The black symbols within each label are similar to those symbols that are already in common use within the chemical transport rules and regulations. Each container must have these labels contained within a larger label that provides the following information. The name of the chemical product contained within, a signal word, either warning or danger, the hazard labels, statements that provide information that assist in preventing incidents from occurring, and statements that provide vital first action information for anyone exposed to or affected by the chemical hazards. As a user of the chemical product, you will need to know what each hazard label means. This is the explosive label, and it applies to any substance or preparation that would explode, particularly if heated. The explosion risk also exists if the product or substance is mixed with other chemicals. This is the flammable label, and it applies to any substance or preparation that is either in liquid, solid or gas form, and whatever its form, the hazard is that the substance or preparation will readily burn. This is the corrosive label, and indicates that there is a severe burn and eye damage risk from this product. The gases under pressure label relates to two specific types of hazards. The pressurisation of the cylinder can cause blast and severe injuries if broken, but the stream of chemicals coming out under pressure can also cause some very serious skin tissue damage. This is the oxidizers label. Oxidizers create their own oxygen, so any fire involving these products will be fierce and spread rapidly. Some products may explode. 
you need to keep these products away from heat sources in the workplace. The toxic label means that the product or substance is toxic by mouth or contact with the skin. Extreme care is required when storing, handling or using such items. This label means that there is a risk of allergic reaction, asthma, or causing other respiratory problems. The sign is also used to signify whether there is a genetic defect risk, impairment, or fertility, or even cancer risk. This label signifies that the product is very toxic to aquatic life, environmentally hazardous. This label will signify many hazards depending on the substance or preparation. Its common meaning is warning, but it also means that there is an irritant risk or that the product is harmful. GHS now means that everyone in the world uses a common system of chemical labelling that ensures that all users know what the particular hazards are contained within. Additional information can always be obtained from the product safety data sheet and, if applicable, a COSH risk assessment. However, these two areas are covered in later films. As a user, you will need to be able to identify the particular health and harm hazards that can occur to you when you use the chemical product in your home or work surroundings. With GHS, that process of understanding is now very simple. Thanks for watching and watch out for further films on this subject to ensure that chemical safety becomes part and parcel of your everyday work routines.